Yes, I would like to show you how I water the reactor. So here, as you can see that ring and uh, plastic ring and the blue uh, spitzers, they call them, I think. Um, those are 360 degree sprayers. So when they turn on, they spray in, in circles around their center point. So it pretty much uh, clouds the whole area uh, with water uh, when they're spraying. So now I'm going to show you my uh, timer. This is a Orbit brand uh, water timer. Um, uh, it's pretty easy to use. Uh, my intention is to do it, put it in automatic at some point, but it just seems like things have varied so much as far as when I take the moisture readings and so forth that I've, I've just felt more like doing it daily manually. So uh, I will, I guess now I will go ahead and uh, do a cycle. It only, it only sprays for one minute and I, I spray on average one minute every other day. So I'm going to show you how I do it. I don't know how well this is going to turn out. It's always my caveat. Um, so what you do, the uh, knob is currently an off. Gosh, I got to get that. Um, it's not focusing right. Anyway, I guess you're just going to have to kind of go by the words I talk about. So it's it's right now it's turned off. So I'm going to turn it to auto. Now it's an auto, and um, it's given the time of day. But to do it manually, you have it in auto. And then you push this lower button, which says manual. And then you count down. It says 10 right now. I'm going to count down to one minute. Uh-oh. I waited too long. Oh, boy. So I'm going to have to turn it off and start over. <laughs> Jeez. So I, 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 I'm just going to have to do it and not talk about it because I waited too long. So I'm going to go to auto, push manual, and then count down to one minute. Okay. Now the timer is set up to do the send water to the spritzers. So now you should be able to see the water coming out of each sprayer and it pretty much looks like a sort of a vapor cloud in there now I spray for one minute and what I have found is it since it's spraying in 360 degrees it's also hitting the fabric on the wall of the reactor and it leaks through <clears throat> and so I end up with a puddle on the floor every time and initially I used to worry about it because on the forums they say if you've got water draining out the bottom of the reactor you're watering too much well in my case I don't think that's the case I, I think I think I'm I it, this it mounts to about there it turned off after one minute I believe one minute spraying in my setup is a, about three quarters of a gallon. So I'm only putting three, ca three quarters of a gallon of water into the reactor every day or every other day, approximately. And um, there is uh, the puddle that I'll get. Now that puddle didn't happen from the current watering. That puddle, the puddle on the floor happened from uh, the uh, watering uh, two days ago. So I guess that's about it for this video. Um, so 
I'll, I'll do another video pretty soon.